What's up, guys? That was a long pause. I'm trying to go off the video. Don't mind me. But what's up? You can finally see me. Hey! And I'm here with my special friend. You can call him Thor. Hey, guys. How you doing? Yeah. So, um, you like the new setup? Hey, you can finally see me. Got the mic and everything. Hey! Anyway. But... Happy Valentine's Day! Well, early Valentine's Day, but almost Valentine's Day. Episode 2 would be on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day! So, how are you guys spending it? I'm spending it doing this. But, um, so today we are, um, I actually did this house by myself. He's just gonna be kind of like a guest commentary helper. Um, only because I didn't feel like doing it on my own. And I got this sweet setup now that I just... Literally, literally, literally just made. <laughs> so, um. Just want to show off a little bit. That's yeah, cool. just want to show off. Look at that. Look at that. Minecraft. Don't mind the painter's tape. I'm still painting. Don't look at it. But, um. So, he didn't help me with this, but I, like I said, I did want a commentary um, helper. So, he already seen the video. He already knows how the house looks. So, he's going to be helping out with commentary. Oh, yeah. How are you today? I'm doing good. I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, um, so as you guys can tell from the title, it is a lover's loft. Um, this is just a super, super simple little house. Um, the outside will kind of look a little bit, uh, but um, the inside is good, trust me. The inside would be good, and you guys would actually check that out tomorrow. But um, it's a little lover's loft. Um, basically, it's um, if you guys know what a miniature home is, it is exactly what a miniature home is. It's just a little tad bigger. Um, it's basically a one bedroom, one bath, one little closet, of course, and a little um, kitchen with a little living room and a little breakfast nook. I guess that's what you guys can call it, right? A little breakfast yes. nook. Um, with also a one to two car garage or whatever you guys would want to put it. And this is also one of the houses that are close to the beach. So it is walking distance. Prime property right there. Mm -hmm. so it's like literally right across the street. Um, if you guys know which house this is on The Sims 3, it's, it's you can tell where that brown house is. And it's like the house next door. So um, now, I don't know if you guys ever seen anything with um, the mini homes. But a lot of the times when you first walk in, you'll have the kitchen. Turn around, you have the breakfast nook. Go a little bit further, you have, like, where the living room would be, and then you have, like, a little ladder or something that goes up to where your bedroom would be, um, or just where your bed area, and then you kind of have, like, a hideaway-type um, bathroom. So that's sort of what I did. Um, you guys can see right now that platform right there, you saw the bed. Um, it would be a little bed there, um, so that's kind of where your bed would be, like, on that little platform. And then where that wall is um, behind it would be where the bathroom is. So it's kind of like out of sight, out of mind type thing. Um, this house gave me so many glitches. So many. Glitches. Uh... Well, when you put stuff on a split level house, like a split. Not a split level, a split. <laughs> Sorry, my cat's hair. I just saw it floating and it's like, whoa, whoa, no. No, no, but on a split level, not level, but a split level house, you guys know those sim glitches. Um, so, throughout the video, it was me trying to fix it. That took forever. This house was actually not supposed to take that long as it was supposed to. Those sim glitches, though, made this house turn from when I originally finished the house around 30 minutes and then realized, oh, snap. <laughs> if I put a door to go to the bathroom, you can't go there. <laughs> so I changed it. And that added another hour of fixing. Literally. An hour. Like, if you erase, like, the parts of the video where I don't or I'm not fixing anything and just actually building versus fixing. It was like, it, it was like one fourth of this video. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, but hey, you got to love speed builds when everything is speeded up for a reason. So, yeah. <laughs> I 
kind of ran out of things to say. So. Valentine's Day. I don't know what I was thinking right there. I tried putting like a little roof there. Um, not a room. But I've seen some mini homes where they actually have like the little kind of deck on the top of the house. And I was like, oh, that will uh, look. Yeah, like where you can walk out and just. Yeah, or either you have like a little section where it's like a ladder or a spiral, little spiral staircase. So I was going to do that, but. When I was originally doing it, well, in my head, it was supposed to be just a one floor, like kind of a little narrow type house. When I'm in narrow, it kind of went narrow. Yeah. I don't yes. like super tiny houses, so that was a challenge. Um, I definitely would like to do a challenge one day. Um, who knows? I actually might try to redeem myself at the end of this month. Um, after, of course, the third episode of actually trying to do a mini home <laughs> and that would be you know like a f 6 by 10 area or you know a 6 by 15 or whatever guys if you actually have a certain coordinate um or a certain block that you want me to try to do a house in because i actually seen some people try to do a 5 by 5 and literally having everything and i think um i think that was a sim supply um sims 4 supply guy uh, he does like little vid videos and challenges like that on Sims 4. Of course, where his bed was, he had literally the toilet right there along with the sink and then the kid. It was really, really tiny. Like everything was just in that one room because you can't do anything else. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, if you guys have a certain challenge you want, trust me, I love challenges and this would be awesome. And as you guys can see, I already have a lot of videos already coming out, especially, um, what day is that? What day would that be? I don't know. The smartphone. Give me a second. I do gotta say, like, the one part where you made the little, uh, in front of the window, it's things like that I've always liked on houses where you just have the, I don't really know what you'd call that, but it's just have, like, a little The little seat. planter type thing? Yeah. Like, with the rock, the rock border? Yes, it's things like that I've always liked. I don't know why, there's just something about those I've always liked on smaller houses. Well, I know for me, with, um... Because, I, I, like I said, I never actually used to do this in my houses until I actually did my dream house, which you guys will see one day. I maybe got something up my sleeve. Who knows? I'm, just, <laughs> I'm illy. I got everything up my sleeves, even though I'm not wearing sleeves, but hey. But um, <laughs> I, I do have stuff up my sleeve for that certain type of stuff. Um, I've actually shown you guys my dream house because that's when I actually started using like these planters. And as you notice in every single one of my videos, I have to have like a buttload of freaking flowers and um, I don't know the more flowers the more realistic looks to me the more homey it looks I you know versus it. having like I... a dead back a dead front yard or a dead backyard it makes it look like you've actually been in your house for you know an x amount of years completely and it just it gives you that it gives you that hominess feeling like you yeah. said Ooh, my mom just called so I'm recording mom I'll call you back in a sec but anyway the 24th I got a very very special surprise for you guys and that's also my 100th video so I definitely have a little something for you and let me text my mom and say that um, I'm recording recording can't talk sorry call back in 20 so I'm just curious for y'all who are watching this if y'all any of y'all watch the Deadpool movie or anything Oh, oh yeah, you know I was gonna talk about that. I was gonna mention that. And if you guys hear barking, meowing, it's a zoo in this house. I'm not gonna ever find like. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> so loud. <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm literally just looking and like not looking. Then look. It's like they stop when you look, but when you don't look, they keep going. <laughs> anyway, the Deadpool movie. I was gonna mention that. Like I really was gonna mention that because. It did came out today, well, yesterday. Last night. Yesterday, because I'm posting it. This is Saturday I'm posting it. So it uh, would have been today, yeah. which is the 12th, where we're doing this. Well, you weren't supposed to. All I hear is, I'm so sorry if you guys hear me out. You know what? Just, 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 just wait a second. And I'm back. 
With the majestic entrance. With the majestic. I hit my head too. <laughs> I hit my head on the way coming in. But um, yeah, the Deadpool movie. I can't wait to see it. It looks awesome. And word from Deadpool: Do not bring your children to see this movie. Yes. Don't don't bring them. Come on. You know there's might gonna be sexual content in there. You know there's gonna be cursing, violence, of course. I mean, it kills people. Oh, it's gonna have violence. And, um. What's Deadpool? You gotta expect all that stuff. It's Deadpool! Like, literally, I saw. I, I love the part in the trailer where he's literally in the car. He just jumps in the in, in the car with those bad guys. And then he's just yeah. like. he The car flips, and then all of a sudden his head's sticking out. He goes, Did I remember to turn the stove off? <laughs> and I love that part. My mommy messaged me back! Like when you when you talk about Deadpool, you just it's like no. Fight you already know about it. You don't got to talk about him. Yeah. Oh, actually, shame to my mom. My mom didn't even know what Deadpool was, or who oh. he was. Even though she watches all those movies with us, and she's supposed to know it. Yeah, I'm talking about you, mom. So if you ever see this video, I'm sorry. But once you learn about Deadpool, <laughs> you have to go away from Deadpool. No, because she was talking with my sister. Um, on the phone, and then my sister mentioned Deadpool because it comes out, and I've been trying to get my dad to like go take her on Valentine's Day so I can have the home, my house to myself, so I can make videos for you guys because I have no money. <laughs> no, but um, I've been trying to get him to take her, and my my sister says something about it, and she was like, "Who's Deadpool?" She was like, "Oh my god!" She was like, "Brie, show her a video." So I showed her the trailer. As soon as he took his swords out and he started, like, kicking butt, she was just like, ooh, that looks good. I was like, I'm so done with you right now. Like swords and guns in movies just make it for Like, me. swords, guns, blood, violence, comedy. Like, comedy? Like, oh my gosh, a comedian. Yep, but he is a comedian. Yeah. So, I like how we're not even talking about the house. Um, you guys can really see what's going on. Um, I'm trying to add windows against these sim glitches, and that does not work. Um, what actually wind up happening is, um, I actually do wind up changing, like, all of this anyway, because where those windows are, I had to make that whole area the same length. Um, only because where the platform is, I, when I try making the walls for it, it kind of put the walls to where the platform was. So if you was to put a door on there, you would not be able to use the door unless you put it on the, the wall above it. Because it would show the door at the bottom on the first floor where it's supposed to be. But then where that part is, it would glitch out. So, as you see here, I had to wind up changing the whole plan again. You see, I was already done, right? I was, already, I was adding windows. I'm done. <laughs> so, I had to change everything once again just to make sure that you guys, when you download it on um, my Sims 3 community website, you just go to Sims 3 community and then just look up Illy Violent 3. Or you can actually just go to any one of my Sims um, 3 speed builds and just click the link and you'll find it. It's Actually, this house is already on there. It's been on there for like the last two days. So if you actually go on my Sims 3 community page, um, you would have kind of got a sneak peek of what's already coming out. But, um, Who so I, what was that? And who doesn't love sneak peeks? I don't know. I mean, he's getting a sneak peek. But, um. Oh, yeah, so I wind up putting it on a platform. So, wind up changing it again, and this became so very stressful. Like, like I said, this turned into, like, a 30, 40-minute video all the way to close to two hours. So, it wasn't fun. But I got all the sim glitches out, so this house is fully functional for you guys to use. Which, it's going to be so awesome. Oh, no, what's going on? 20 minutes later. So, <laughs> house is done. Yay. Now, um, <laughs> it stopped recording on me. It's not my fault. It stopped recording and I didn't even know it was recording. That's how much I was focused on trying to get that house even. My little trellis thing that I made. No, I had to change that too. Because the sim was like, <laughs> no. Not doing that today. No, it's like, not today. Like, oh my god. 
<laughs> but it was it was seriously saying that like no no you cannot. Why didn't she keep messaging me? I am recording. Okay. My dad's on the way home. It's midnight. Well, I didn't realize it was midnight. I didn't either. Like, last time I checked, it was like 10. But, um, so yeah. It stopped recording on me. And I had no idea that it actually stopped recording on me. So, I kind of was just like, I was already halfway done with editing it. Um, to where it actually would work and then I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna finish it and then just come back when it's already done At least I'll be done with the house part and don't have to worry about having to keep going back and Doing extra stuff. So yeah. again, I really love these trellises like I really love these trellis. I like doing the trellises tre tre Trellises tre 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 they It looks really nice that one I like it looks really nice, and I use them a lot, especially when I was on Sims 4 and I did the Spanish house. I use that a lot. I mean, it's it's one of those that it takes a little bit of shade off, but it doesn't take the complete shade off. Yeah. You know, and it still looks really nice, especially when you see how the, the shadow looks. It just looks really, really pretty. And most people I've seen, they just they can either completely cover it or just kind of half do make with the looks of it. See, I mean, some people. Like, I, I know with me, a lot of the times I either do just a square or I do just the, you know, do like a bunch of little squares and stuff like that. And it's really nice. And one thing I'm surprised I didn't add, a lot of people actually add like, um, and I think I did one video before, um, was add like these, what's that thing called? Like um, the flat plants, like vines and stuff like that. So it looks like there's vines growing right on top of it. And that's another nice little feature that actually looks really, really cool. Um, now again, if you're using, um, regular Sims without cheats, you're not able to do that at all of actually being able to leave the floor on there and then, um, putting plants on it and then try to delete it. It's going to say that the one is going to say, you know, you can't do it cause it can't enter enter. Dang it. Brain fart. It can't, like, go on another object. There you go. Simple. But <laughs> it can't be placed onto another object. So it is going to give you that error message. So you guys got to make sure you put um, control shift c if you don't know that already. Um, put testing cheats enabled true. Um, a way to test that, that uh, the way I do it to test, um, to test that if that cheat actually works, I make sure I'm in um, F1, which is basically um, playing mode. And my nose itches. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but um, I make sure I'm in um, playing mode. And what I do is I make sure that I go to um, play, not just pause mode. And all I do is just simply go to where my needs are. And I, you know, either raise up something or drop it down just to see if you're, if you move your hunger bar and your hunger bar actually moves, then the testing cheat in, um, the cheats is on so you would that's how I, I i know because a lot of the times i'll try to do it and it's just like no no start over so uh, once you have that actually enabled what you're going to do is do control shift c again and you're going to put move objects and then the way i have to do it is put move objects and then space capital on um that's the only way for me to actually get it to work if i put lowercase on it doesn't want to work if I put true, it doesn't want to work. It has to be like capital on. Now, before my game crashed a while ago, I was able to put just lowercase on and it works perfectly. Um, it, not, not this time. Um, but once you are able to do that, you are able to intermerge objects together, which I love to do. Um, that's a lot of the times why if you see in my videos why the, the windows of the doors kind of glitch out. That's only because I put another window on top of it. So it kind of does that glitch out effect. But um, it, it's a really, really nice tool. Like if you want to put, you know, a bed over the counter or your a table over your bed or whatever it is. But that's really the end of the video. And I was talking way too much. But like and subscribe and we'll be back for episode two. See you guys. <laughs> Sorry. But hey, it's okay. Wow, there's a lot more to go. Oh wait, no, it's done. Bye.